Hey friends, all right, making another video here on this, uh, on the Dude Perfect uh, space flight, as well as a couple others, or another one. Um, so people were saying, yeah, you could, this is the curve of the Earth that you could see. This is, this is how much it's curved. And, um, which is kind of silly. I'll just demonstrate here as the, uh, it goes up and down. So there's that, and then it, it curves like way down like this. Okay, and they're saying, um, some people were saying that's just the uh, fisheye lens or whatever, which, or they weren't, they're saying it wasn't or something, I don't know. Um, but here we go. Notice that, but we have a specific little piece of, um, area on the ground here and what that is is Dell Texas that guy says look at the sky that's the guy who's not even looking at the earth he's just sitting there looking at the sky all right so if you notice right down here there's an interesting uh, crop pattern all right and so I was verifying how high up into space uh, Kobe Cotton went. 62 miles up, that's 100 kilometers. And once again, if you look at this very distinct little pattern here on the ground, that is Dell, Texas. And you can see these little things here. And I'll just verify on Google Earth. Here we are, I'm Dell City, Texas. You can see it's the same pattern, same things here. Once again, there's the round crops, very distinct round crops, and then these um, this distinct pattern of uh, small hills right here. And you can see, there we go again, the distinct things, there's the city, Dell City right here. Okay, so how big is Dell City? How big is it? How big do you think that is? I mean, if this is, uh, what, 30% of the, of the entire Earth here, if you're just looking at a circle, we'll give you 10%. Okay, how big is this? It is uh, right here, 1.67 square miles is how big Dell City, Texas is. So this is it right here. Look at the camera height. Oops, you guys can't see the camera height. I'll just move myself up here a little bit. Camera height right here. It's at 101 kilometers, which is 63 miles up, which is how high uh, Dude Perfect is right here. Okay, this is that pattern, exact same pattern, exact same little mountains here. This is, let's say it's two square miles, okay? Two square miles, and then, yeah. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. This should be like thousands of miles away. All right, so there's this is no way at all are we are we seeing the curve here of the earth and in case you don't believe me maybe you'll believe neil degrasse tyson in this video here and that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon um <laughs> what's his name felix felix Baumgartner. we'll take a look at that uh video here in just a second also in fact here it is right here Here's Felix Baumgartner. If you look at this camera from the inside of the thing, that is a flat horizon. But when he gets out, it's curving. To the rear. Oh, wow, look at that. How big is the Earth? Let's go back to Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Uh, he would have been about two millimeters above two the millimeters. surface of this globe. Interesting. That's his edge of space jump. <laughs> now, so, you know, I, I don't, it's fine. He wants to, I don't have a problem. So I don't know how accurate that is of that high above the earth, but you figure, uh, yeah, if it's supposed to be uh, the circumference it is, and you're only up this high, and it's going out thousands of miles in each direction below you with not much of a curve there, 
you wouldn't think you'd be able to see it. And that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson said. Problem if he does it. But the, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens. Very wide angle lens. Now, I made the other video and people were like, oh, that's not the lens, that's the curve of the earth. And you could tell because um, whatever they were saying. But he's saying they make sure you do it with a wide angle lens here. Which curves horizontal lines. Curves the horizontal lines. Okay. So in the photo, you see this curvature of earth's surface. Right, see what he's saying? You see the curvature of the Earth's surface. The curvature of the Earth's surface. The curvature of the Earth's surface, there you go. But do you really see that according to Neil Tyson? Wow, he's Neil in DeGrasse space, Tyson. look at that. No, he's not. What? He's not. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature. At that height, you don't see. You don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. <laughs> it is, you just don't. That stuff is flat. And that dude... All right, that's pretty clear, but we'll just take a look at some other high-altitude balloons uh, that people have sent up just in case. All right, here's a high altitude balloon one I found. It says high altitude balloon. Um, we see the horizon going up to eye level to the middle of the screen at all times. And not really any noticeable curve here that's super obvious. Okay, let's check out another one. Right here is another one here, Cap High Altitude Balloon Challenge. Uh, looks, there we go once again. We see the horizon going right into the middle of the screen at eye level. And then it curves up here as a fisheye. Something curved, the horizon curves way up there. And here's another one. Looks pretty pretty flat there and then they go to the I'm not sure why they're not showing more they're showing all the balloons just kind of popping here not really getting that high all right maybe there's gonna be another one here that was about it we'll find another one here all right this one's admittedly a GoPro which is gonna have the fish eye lens once again though still you still have the screen or the horizon going up to eye level so going back to this you see a little bit of a curve there and according to neil tap neil degrasse tyson you wouldn't see that was that a bigfoot in the background there so just depending on which ones you look at you're going to have a curve there and and you're not so a lot of people seem to think that you would be able to see the curve of that height. Um, but, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with this guy on a lot of stuff, but uh, what he says makes sense there. But what doesn't make sense also is that they say um, you can't see the curve from up here, but you can see the curve as a ship goes over the horizon. So you're standing on like a beach or something and you can see the ship go over the horizon so you could see basically that's the curve but you couldn't see it from uh 60 miles up which to me that is kind of weird so here there's felix Baumgartner's little um thing here as well and once again you can see flat and then coming out, it's like ridiculously curved here. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd point that out. Here's the, once again, Dell City and camera height at 101 kilometers. This is exactly what Dude Perfect is looking at right here. And if this is the curve of your Earth, as a lot of people were saying here, or even if it was the other one where it's kind of flattened out, I mean, literally, you're looking at a very, very small Earth. So 
I just thought I would share that. It's interesting. And hopefully that clears up a few things in regards to being able to see the curvature of the Earth from high altitude balloons. Because you'll see a lot of those and people are like, oh, just look at those balloons. You can see the curve of the Earth. And that's pretty clear that's not the case. And if it, if it was, then your Earth is much smaller than what they are actually telling us it is. So, yeah, remember, this is... I'm being generous. This is two square miles. It's 1.6 square miles. And if you're looking at it here, once again, this little area right here is two square miles. All right. So you, you do the math. Someone calculate that out for me. How big is this whole thing here? Not that big. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And, uh, yeah, maybe just look into things. I don't know. Just, just because you believe something your whole life doesn't make it true. Just because everyone says something is true doesn't mean it's true. Just because the smart people say it's true doesn't mean it's true. So just look into stuff. I'm not saying that I have all the answers, but I'm open to discuss anything with anybody. I'm not, I haven't closed my eyes to this actual being the is this the what we are living on or is it not? So I'm actually open to discussion about things. And I think that's the only way we can actually come to the truth is if we're willing to learn. If you just close your mind and don't listen to what people are saying and don't even consider it. Um, yeah, it just doesn't seem like you can actually learn anything that way because the first thing you're taught that's what you're going to accept. And then if you can never change your view on something, even if someone demonstrates uh, that what you're believing is not the, tru not the truth. Um, so that's no way to live, I don't think. But anyways, everyone's got to make their own choices. So I, for one, will keep an open mind and hopefully come to the realization of the truth. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.